Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to look at the topic moment of a force about a point or the turning effect of the force because moment of a force about a point is a physical quantity. And I have split this topic into several subtopics starting with the definition of moment of a force about a point looking at the calculations involving moment of a force about a point we were we are going to look at the principle of moments followed by the applications of the principle of moments then we look at the conditions for a system to be in equilibrium and then carry out calculations involving conditions for equilibrium then we will introduce another concept referred to as a couple, a physical quantity referred to as a couple, and then we look at moment of a couple. And let's go straight away to the definition of moment of a force about a point. I've already written the definition on this slide, so I'm going to run a number of slides, and in each one of them I'm going to explain the various aspects. So we start with the definition of moment of a force about a point. Let me start by saying that this topic is one of the effects of a force. Somewhere we have studied effects of a force. And one of these is that a force can make an object to turn about a point. So that turning effect is what we are talking about today. What are some of the examples of the turning effect of a force? Think about a door which is turning about the hinges. Think about your arm which is turning about the elbow. All these are examples of a system which is turning about a point. And that system is turning because a force has been applied to make the system to turn. So, we are going to define moment of a force about a point as the product of that force and the distance from the point which makes 90 degrees with the line of action of the force. I've mentioned uh, several uh, points here and I need to describe each one of them. Number one, a force is a vector and it has got a certain direction in which it is traveling. That direction in which a vector points is referred to as its line of action. So this dotted line here, this one here, is the line of action of this force. The other point is this. When we talk about moment, we usually take moment about a given point. So we have to identify the point about which we are taking moments. It is this point here. And that is the language we use. We use the language take moment about a point. That is the proper language to use. So there must always be a point about which we are taking moments. So we must identify that point about which we are taking moments. How far is that point from the line of action of the force? How much is the distance from that point which makes 90 degrees with the line of action of the force? Because that is the distance which we need. When we multiply force and distance, it's not just a matter of multiplying any distances we see on the diagram and the forces. No, it's about identifying that distance from the point about which we are taking moments to the line of action of the force in such a way that the distance makes 90 degrees with the line of action of the force. So one of the things that you will be careful when you are calculating moment is to observe this, that this angle between the force and the distance must be 90 degrees. Always observe that. 
and that is why the the word perpendicular distance comes in so the product of the force first of all product means mm. multiplication multiplication this one here the product of two physical quantities the product of the force that is the first physical quantity and the perpendicular distance from the point all the way to the line of action of the force that is a complete definition of moment of a force about a point so this is the equation which comes directly from the definition it's always important to identify that equation which is derived directly from the definition very important so this equation stems directly from the definition of moment and you can see since force is in newtons distance in meters the si unit of moment is of course newton meter at this point i want to mention that there is another physical quantity that we get when we multiply force and distance and it is referred to as work but when we will be talking about work later on we will realize that the force and the distance are in the same direction very important so the only distinction between moment and work is the way the force and the distance are oriented to each other how are they spaced are there some angles involved in this case the distance and the force must make 90 degrees when you, we will be calculating work later on in that other topic we will see that the force and the distance they are parallel to each other now let's uh, put some uh, numbers here and see what we can get when we put um, like for example when we say let the distance be two meters and maybe this is for this force is 10 newtons let's calculate that turning effect the moment due to the 10 newton force about point o and this is the complete description of what we are calculating moment due to there is there is a separation between this word and this word so moment due to the 10 newton force about point o is of course the force and the perpendicular distance and we get 20 newton meter clockwise this one is something else when systems turn they either turn clockwise or anti-clockwise that is important so how do we know that this force tends to turn this system clockwise about this point? We imagine that this is the center of a huge clock and that this distance is one of the arms of the clock and we ask ourselves in which direction is this arm turning? And because this force is pointing in this direction, it's obvious that the arm of the clock will turn in this direction and you can see that is clockwise it turns in the same direction as the movement of the arm of the clock clockwise it also follows that moment can also be anti clockwise if you reverse this force then you will find that the moment due to that force about that point will be will have the same magnitude 20 newton meters but this time anti clockwise so moment is a vector given that you've got to mention two things you have to, to get to mention a number and a unit a number and a unit is the magnitude then we say when you say clockwise or anti-clockwise you're talking about the direction and a physical quantity with magnitude and direction is a vector so on that basis moment is a vector quantity now let's look at a situation where the force and the distance are not perpendicular to each other and here i have such a situation you can see that the distance this one here in it may still be two meters this one may still be 10 newtons but you can see that the distance and the force do not make 90 degrees this one is a different angle altogether it means that we must look for that distance which makes 90 degrees with the line of action of this force so one other thing 
identify the line of action of the force and then from the from the diagram that is given try to identify the distance which makes 90 degrees with this line of action of the force and that distance is measured from the turning point or from the point about which we are taking moment sometimes we refer to this as the pivot but specifically a better term that completely defines this point it is the point about which we are taking moments because we could decide to take moments about a different point altogether but this time it is this point we are taking moment about this point so find that distance from the point about which we are taking moments and that distance must make 90 degrees with the line of action of the force so you may have to do a little bit more calculation here because you might need this angle use any angle that is given if this angle is given then you will realize that the distance which is required is the opposite to the angle which is given if this is the distance if this is the angle that is given the distance which is required is adjacent to the angle so you see when i use these those terms adjacent and opposite you think about sine and cosine because cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent to the angle divided by the hypotenuse and by the way this one is a right angled triangle so if we know any of the angles here we can comfortably use trigonometry as for example let let us just put some figures there uh, this distance like we said let it be still be two meters this one is a force of 10 newtons and then we are given this angle at 60 degrees so you can see that the required distance is the adjacent to the angle that means i can say the cos of 60 degrees is equal to adjacent which is the distance that i want divided by the hypotenuse you do you remember that acronym the SOCATOA? that is what is helping us to identify what we need here so if for example this was the angle that is given and since this one is 60 this one must be 30 degrees if this angle was the one which is given then i'm going to realize that the side which is required is opposite to the angle and therefore i use the sine function so be ready to use simple trigonometrical functions in this particular topic in order to calculate moment of a force about a point so basically this one will be moment due to the 10 newton force about point o is equals to the 10 newton force itself times this distance here which will be given by 2 cos 60 meters and when you manipulate that using the calculator you get 10 newton meters clockwise i have already explained how you get this direction so to sum up this video you should be able to define the physical quantity moment of a force about a point be able to describe it completely by repeating the word moment of maybe 50 newton force about point o about point a about point b and so forth that is the language in fact in the next video when we are looking at the, at the calculations that is the language that will keep on repeating until it uh, you are able to see the sense in it so in this definition we understand that and then we remember the force and the distance make 90 degrees with each other then of course the si unit of moment of a force about a point is newton meters and the moment is a vector it is either clockwise or anti-clockwise and i want to emphasize here very important when you're given any diagram always try to identify the distance which makes 90 degrees with the line of action of any force and then proceed to calculate it's not just a matter of multiplying uh, numbers forces and distances so in the next video we are going to look at calculations involving moment of a force about a point see you in the next video